Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today's video is going to be about tech. Uh, as some of you may know, my normal day job, I'm an IT supervisor, and um, I, uh, I, I do that to, to pay the bills, but uh, as you, you well know, I much prefer doing gardening. Um, the reason for this project or this build is going to be kind of branch the channel out a little bit, cover some things that uh, I'm not normally covering. And um, the big reason for this is uh, to get some of those old videos on online. I've got videos going back to 2014 that I just have not put on because my machine cannot handle uh, encoding. I mean, it would take a day to do a movie. And it's just, it's just not any fun. Uh, when you put in those kind of hours, um, so so what I'm what I'm looking to do is uh, kind of branch out a little bit, show some tech, um, but tech for a reason. So uh, this machine that I've got here is uh, an HP ProLiant DL360 G7. Uh, it's got a Xeon LS5506 clocked at 2.13. Uh, gigahertz. It's a four-core processor uh, with 24 gigs of ECC DDR3 1333 memory. Um, I bought this for $125 at a uh, local county auction. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be upgrading this machine to a matched pair of Xeon X5675s, 3.06 gigahertz hex core or six core processors. I'm going to be doubling the memory to 48 gigabytes of DDR3 1333 or 1333. Um, the machine has dual 10K 300 gig SAS and dual 146 10K SAS. I'm not sure why it was done like that. I'm not sure if it was shipped that way. Um, but I mean, for all intents and purposes, this is going to be roughly 450 gigabytes of rated storage and it's strictly going to handle the uh, uh, rendering and encoding of these YouTube videos. Because this server was originally a single processor machine I've had to buy all the parts to convert it to a dual processor machine. Uh, I, you know of course the board itself already supports it, but uh, I had to get everything. So let's kind of run through those and I'll give you pricing on it as well. Uh, this is the heat sink. This is the heat sink. The heat sink cost me $14.95. Standard aluminum block. Um, the processors, they were a hundred bucks for the matched pair, so rough, you know, fifty bucks a piece. These were used, of course, but uh, see it right there. I think you can see that. I'm not sure, but they are. That's one. Side. The fans to keep everything cool, uh, at least on that that processor bay. Uh, surprisingly, this wasn't even in there, so not sure if someone robbed it or if it just came configured that way. Um, but this was fourteen ninety five. For another build, we'll throw that to the side. 
for a future video. And then I've got the additional 24 gigs of memory. That cost me $41.94 for 24 gigs of uh, ECC memory. Uh, again, it's PC3-1333. Or 10-066. I'm sorry, 10, 10, 600. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start breaking down, getting uh, everything apart, getting the top off, and putting everything together. Okay, what we're going to do is slide this top off. Remove our cache. Battery controller. Come on, I know you want to come out of there. Go. Slide the shroud out of the way for right now. We'll start here. This is where our secondary uh, processor is going to go. That shroud is no longer needed. grab our first processor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clean up. Again, these are used, so I've still got some compound around the sides. I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. It's a little isopropanol. That one's done. Let's go ahead and put the fan in. Right. Let's go ahead and take the memory, put it in on this side. Okay, then take this whole heat sink off.
Okay. So I've put in matching 3.06 hex core X5675 Xeon processors. I have put in an additional fan uh, bank and put in an additional 24 gigs of memory, which now takes me to 48 gigs of memory, dual 3.06 hex core processors, um, and of course, additional cooling for that and additional heat sink for that processor. What I'm gonna do is fire it up and see if those changes came across. Now, you notice I'm only using one power supply. That's fine, they're just for redundancy. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and move over. The first power supply though, just for testing purposes. Well, that's not good. Just needed a little bit of time to see if there was something there. The fans are going. Probably going to get some throttling or ambient temperature errors. This server is very slow to boot. I'm not sure if it's just a function. And the shop that, that uh, or, or my, my workplace were primarily a Dell shop, so I've had very limited experience with the HPs. Um, but this one is, is slow to get going. So not sure if it's a function of the machine or just the server going through checking everything. You can see it's quiet, really quiet now, even with the top off. So that's a that's a good thing. What I do like about this as well is internal SD and USB. For those of you that uh, are more experienced with the HP line of servers, um, shoot me a message below. Let me know. Does it always take that long? Okay. This is 3.07 gigahertz. Uh, power supply failure. That's fine. Not worried about it. The hyper threading is enabled. 12 cores, two processors. It's interesting that it's that it's coming up that way. 3.07 gigahertz instead of 3.06. I'll take it. You can see it's picked up sound with the fans. Uh, more than likely, I'm going to presume that HPs are like Dale's. Uh, it's kicking high fan speed because the top's off, so you've got a thermal vent. All in all, I mean, very successful install. I like it. Everything's uh, picked up. Hopefully, you'll see this video come out being rendered on this machine. I will. Uh, I will definitely uh, post some thoughts on that as I'm rendering with it. Um, hopefully, hoping that it is uh, considerably faster than the uh, old Core Two quad core that I got for my rendering machine that is now seven, eight, nine years, maybe ten years old. Uh, so, yeah, lesson learned. Do not try and render on old hardware. But, it is what it is. It works for me. I work on machines all day. When I come home, I do not want to have to work on them again. 
uh, in my personal life. So there it is. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Uh, give me some constructive feedback. I'd love it. Uh, again, I want to I wanna see if, if uh, moving into some more tech may, uh, may benefit the channel any at all, if, if you all like it. Um, also, like I said, if anyone out there has any HP servers, again, this one's a DL360 G7. Uh, if you have slow boot times, let me know. I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm not used to it being this slow. Now I'm just rambling. Hope you all like the video. Let me know. Have a good day. Be blessed.